Good day, good day Gambia. Welcome to yet another edition of The Stake. Well, today I want to talk about what happened at the assembly yesterday as it relates to the Honorable Halifa Saleh and the Speaker of the Parliament. I was pleased to say that I've seen such a thing in our assembly. Well, some people will wonder, why are you going to say you're pleased that you've seen a fracas in an assembly? The issue here is about passion. The issue here is about exchange, a dialogue. I think those people mean business as it relates to building this country. And it's that passion that we want to see embedded in anyone who wants to serve the public and the people of the Gambia. See, what happened at the parliament yesterday, I think, um, was an issue between the Minister of Finance, basically, and the Honorable Halifa Sala. The Honorable Ali Fasala asked a question as it relates to non-tax revenue and basically a budget is funded through two things, tax revenue and non-tax revenue. Tax revenues are everything that we collect by way of income and corporate taxes and also by excise and custom duties. So basically what the Honorable Ali Fasala said was, look, can we find ways to make sure that we can fund our budget without resorting significantly on taxation, which to me makes a whole lot of sense because this economy will never grow through taxation. And the logic behind taxation in the new economy is very simple. Lower your tax rates and broaden your tax base. So basically, we're just calling for, and this is a global trend, we're calling for distribution of taxes towards a larger base and the reduction of the rates. What this means is there will be equity in taxation. Where there is equity in taxation, a large number of people will pay, contrary to what we see in Gambia, where most of the people operate in the informal sector of the society or the economy because it's punitive to pay taxes. So Ministry of Finance should find ways and means not only to reduce taxation, but make sure that um, our expendable expenditures for the budget comes from other means outside of taxation. It's not a short-term arrangement, so it's like weaning off a baby from the breast of a mom. So it's going to take some time, but it's something we need to work on and start a plan now. So Honorable Halifa asked a question, and the question was, is there ways or is there an attempt by the Ministry of Finance to find means of making more money in mining, especially that of sand? Because Gambia mines what you call zircon and this zircon is exported. Equally, we mine sand which is also used significantly in our construction. So therefore, growing that sector can alleviate the need for government to have cash. And once government start having cash outside of taxation, there may be a possibility to reduce the tax rates, both for corporate and personal income tax. So I totally agree with him, and I do believe the Minister of Finance has at least taken a cue that the Honorable said something that made sense. But um, the healthy thing about what happened yesterday was that we're beginning to see a budding democracy that's having a marketplace of ideas where people come together and discuss issues. And the parliament is the people's home. And the people's home is the right place and the best place and the most important place to make sure that the issues that are affecting the Gambian is tabled. So kudos to the Speaker of the House. Kudos to Halifa Sal and everyone who stood up to make sure that the voice of the people by way of representation is heard. So it's encouraging. It's something that I want to see in the Gambia more and more, but also for us on social media. I think this is not a sport. Building this country is not a sport, and it shouldn't have people taking sides or having allegiance to ideology that is very partisan. We should take the Gambian side, and the Gambian side is politically neutral so long as it's in the interest of the greater good. So what we've seen on social media as it relates to the incident between Salah and Speaker Jack Denton is not helping anybody. 
let's help Gambia. Gambia wants to get out of the doldrum that it found itself after 22 years of isolation. Gambia wants to develop so that its youth folk, which forms a majority or a bulk of its demography, have access to jobs and entrepreneurial opportunities. Gambia wants to not only eradicate poverty but immediately alleviate the plight of its farmers, its fisher folk, the teachers, the police, the nurses, the army, and also help the students in the schools to have better education and also for the average Gambian to have good access to healthcare. And for this to happen, we need to stop the bickering we're doing roll our sleeves and know that we have a country to build. This Gambia will be built and must be built by our generation. And this generation need to know that we should not be sitting on social media heating up debates that are not taking this country anywhere. The talk shop for Gambia is closed. The action shop is open. And just like the posters you will see in the US where it says, Uncle Sam wants you. The Gambia wants you. The Gambia wants me. So let's get up and walk for country. And walking for country makes the talk shop close. So let's begin doing some action so that the action shop will realize some tangible socioeconomic dividends for the folks of this country who are really yearning for better days and better opportunities. So long, Gambia, and a great weekend to all. This was D-Steak. Until I come your way again, I was your host, Nyang Jai.